Then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization. And you tell them one thing. What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video. Josh McDaniels is now 13 and 23 as a head coach in the National Football League and he is 5 and 15 in his last 20 games dating back to his last season with the Denver Broncos back in 2010. The Raiders have now lost two straight games and have an abysmal 2 and 6 record in this NFL season despite making heavy investments in the offseason and coming off of a playoff berth for the Las Vegas Raiders. Look, the current situation of the Raiders is very uncertain and that starts the leader of this football team, Josh McDaniels. Look, I'm going to be honest, Josh McDaniels does not look like a competent head coach at this moment and it really starts with his play calling and crucial moments of the game, lack of in-game adjustments and the current state of the locker room seems to be very uncertain and there just seems to be a lot of mixed messages coming between players on this team and this coaching staff. Quarterback Derek Carr following the loss of the Jacksonville Jaguars laid out some cryptic messages and it just makes you wonder what exactly is going on with this team internally. Derek Carr stated, look, there's a lot I want to say, but if I'm going to be honest, I don't need to say it here. There are a lot of things that will be said and there will be things that will be addressed. I just think as a whole, the urgency part of it, that after 30 minutes of football, we just have to learn that the game is not over. Look, Josh McDaniels too has also come out several different times in the season and he has stated that this team needs to learn how to win games, which personally, I don't love those choice of words when it comes to from the head coach, the leader of your football team. Ultimately, Josh McDaniels needs to learn how to win football games in the National Football League. He's the one that needs to learn how to close out games because as a head coach in this league, he has not proven to be a proven winner. Yes, he has had a lot of success with New England, but that's a lot different being an offensive coordinator under Tom Brady, arguably the greatest quarterback of all time, and being led under Bill Belichick, potentially the best head coach of all time. Let's just be honest, this guy was in a perfect situation with New England throughout the past decade. Being a head coach for a team that needs to build a culture of winning, it's a lot different. Raiders have now blown two 17-point leads this season and also have blown a 20-point lead as well, where this off offense has just completely stalled in the second half so yeah McDaniels and this offense we can get some success going early in the game like we did against Jacksonville when we got to that 17-0 start where we're able to get Devontae Adams involved and this offense looks very good very explosive but as soon as the opposing team makes those in-game adjustments and as soon as they change their strategy coming out of halftime this offense completely crumbles and ultimately I think this falls back to the coaching on this team we aren't making the proper adjustments to close out games look that's very similar to the criticism we had of John Gruden when he was back here and it seems like things have not changed when it comes to that aspect of this team which you know look I am surprised because if there's one thing that I would have expected with the Josh McDaniels hiring a former New England Patriot coordinator for so long I personally would have expected preparation and the in-game adjustments to actually been a strength on this team because really it's been a strength for the Patriots for the last decade but obviously that is not the case with this team I think Josh McDaniels is being exposed as a head coach thus far and I do not feel any better about Josh McDaniels going into the midpoint of this NFL season and look even though I don't have a lot of faith in Josh McDaniels at this moment moving forward I would still give him the full season give him a full year to show us the direction of this football team also it seems like owner Mark Davis is going to commit to Josh McDaniels but with this team in such a negative state both on and off the field this season could get even worse and that's truly a scary thought I really thought that loss against the New Orleans Saints was gonna be our rock bottom moment of the season but things can really get worse and that's shocking you know unless Josh McDaniels is able to restore some faith in this football team and really show some leadership on this football team which is something I think he is severely lacking as a head coach unless he's able to do that look things can continue to get worse during this season and look if it continues to get worse as the season goes on even though it seems like Mark Davis has committed to Josh McDaniels I think at a certain point his patience may expire and essentially he would be put in a situation where it gets so 
bad for this organization that he would really have to be forced to pull a drastic move and fire Josh McDaniels to send a message throughout this organization. But ultimately, let's see what happens this season. Look, we definitely know we're not a playoff team, but let's just hope it doesn't get any worse than what we have experienced throughout eight games. Let's hope at least we can get some momentum moving forward towards the end of the season. Realistically, I think Josh McDaniels is going to get this full year, a full offseason for him to be able to bring in his guys, to get rid of anybody from the previous regime that he does not feel will fit this team. Give him an offseason next year, and then I guess next year we'll just have to see if he's able to turn things around. If he's not, I really think you got to pull the plug on Josh McDaniels. So me personally, I think the move to hire Josh McDaniels as a coordinator was really a bad choice for this football team. I think we made the wrong choice in hiring this guy to be the head coach of this football team. Let's hope I'm wrong. Let's hope he can turn things around next year. But Raider Nation, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys have any faith in Josh McDaniels? If so, how many years do you think you should give Josh McDaniels at this point? Let me know in the comment section down below. With that being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that is new to the channel, you guys love Raiders related content like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.